hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious and in this video we are going to continue our lesson on binomial expansion so this is binomial expansion the part two and here we're going to be solving problems i'm going to do this first example to you know give a kind of a buttress to what we did in the previous video and then subsequently we'll see examples that are going to be asking us things like uh, how to find the certain number of terms in an expansion the coefficient of some terms the coefficient of uh, some terms with the certain powers and all of that so now let's begin meanwhile you recall that we said that to expand a binomial expression has to have two terms and then here we have two terms here okay the first is what we call x the second is we call y and then so we said that to expand it you need to get the terms and the, the combination of the terms and their exponents and then you need to also get their uh, numerical coefficients right so now let's begin with this so you remember that one of the rules says you pick the first term and then raise it to the highest power in this case is three and then the next you are going to have you pick that term and the power keeps reducing by one and then the next one will now join and remember that the second term here is uh, minus four over x squared so that's your second term so you pick the whole of it x squared now raised to the power of one and so plus the next one will be now to the power of one and then minus four over x squared to the power of uh, two now the next one will be power zero so there won't be any need to write it so we'll just write uh, minus uh, four all over x squared to the power of three so once we are done with this then we'll try to simplify what we have by opening our brackets so this will give us eight x to the power three and then here we'll have plus uh, this will become four x squared and into the bracket of because the power is odd the negative sign will remain so we just raise this to power one all over this to power one which is still the same and then plus here we'll have two x into the bracket of the power is even so we will that even power will deal with the negative sign here so it will go away so we just have sorry we'll just have four to the power of two which is 16 all over x squared to the power of 2 which is x to the power of 4 then here the power is odd so it's going to remain so we'll have minus 4 to the power of 3 is 64 all over x squared to the power of 3 is x to the power of 6 and so if we finally multiply out here we'll have 8x to the power of 3 and then here the minus will multiply the plus here we'll have minus then uh, x squared will cancel x squared and 4 times 4 will give us 16 here and so we we'll have plus now here now uh, x will take away 1 here so you have power 3 left so that will give us a uh, uh, sorry 2 times 16 is 32 all over x to the power of 3 and then plus times minus is minus 64 over x to the power 6 and so this is what we have for the terms then the next is to get the coefficient you remember the pascal's triangle because the power is just three so it's okay we use pascal's triangle so here we have one two one and this is for exponent zero exponent one exponent two so we need for exponent three which is one three three one so we are going to put that this is one so we'll add three here it will multiply then three also here will multiply and this is one so finally our expansion is 8x to the power of 3 minus 48 and then here 3 will times 32 to give us 96 all over x to the power of 3 and finally we'll have minus 64 all over x to the power of 6 and that is the solution to this problem so we'll quickly look at the next example now the example two like i said is now beginning to ask us the first three terms of the expansions we have here and in this place the second method of finding the coefficient is going to help us as a combination approach why because we are having large exponents here and then we are looking for specific uh, 
components or specific terms. Now remember that the expansion using that uh, combination form is always this way. You start with n, assuming you are expanding x to the power uh, x plus y to the power n. You start with n combination zero, then you combine it with x to the power of n and then y to the power of zero. Then plus n combination one, you keep going. Then x will now reduce by one and y will increase by one. So at each point, whatever you are combining, your x is, uh, sorry, your combination is always n combination something. Now that thing that is always down is always the power of the uh, y and that is what we are always subtracting from the power of x like here you can see we have n combination one and so we are subtracting one and that same one is the power of the y right so please take note of that so that means that if i choose to write this in a different way it will be n combination r then um n raised to x raised to the power of n minus r then y r so whatever is here will be the what you're subtracting and it will also be the power of my y okay that's going to help us a whole lot as we go on now so let's go to it so i want to get the first three terms and so the first three terms are going to be the first term will be n combination one sorry n combination zero the first term is always combination zero and our n is 30 combination zero then multiply by my x, which is the first term, raised to the highest power, which is 30, 30 minus 0, and then you have y raised to the power 0, which will still give us 1. That's the first term. Now, the second term will be 30 combination 1, and then here we now have x to the power of 30 minus 1, which is 29, then multiply by y to the power of 1. And finally, the, uh, the third term is 30, combination three uh, sorry combination two then x to the power of 30 minus 2 which is 28 times y to the power of 2 so if you try to simplify all of this remember what i said earlier uh, in the previous video that our whenever you have anything combination zero is equal to one so that means the whole of this is one so our first term is actually x to the power of 30 that's all and then what about 30 combination 1? 30 combination 1 is equal to 30. You can please take time to look at that. So remember, so this will give us to a x to the power of 29 then times y. Now remember that combination n combination r is equal to n factorial all over r factorial times n minus r. So if I do my 30 combination 1, I'm supposed to get 30. Please take time to substitute here and do that. Or you can see our previous videos on factorials or even on combination and permutations, right? So now the last one, which is the last term here, 30 combination two is actually 435. And then if you do that here, you also get, and so you now have times X to the power of 28. And then we now have, Oh, sorry, sorry. There's a mix up here. Remember that our y in this case is actually 3y. So this is supposed to be 3y raised to the power of 1. And here is supposed to be 3y raised to the power of 2. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're supposed to have here will be our 3y to the power of 2 will be 9y squared. Why here? We're actually supposed to have here here we'll be multiplying by 3y. Okay, so finally what we have as our three terms are x to the power of 30, comma. Now 3, 30 times 3y or times 3, that will give us 90x to the power of 29 multiplied by y. And then here 435 will multiply 9 and that's going to give us, you may use your calculator here, that will give us 3915 then x to the power of 28 multiplied by y to the power of 2 and uh, that's the solution for the a part and so i'm going to also take care of the b and i will allow you to do that of c so they said here the first three terms and so the first term is going to be x to the power of half or raised to the power of 10 so you take the highest power and then the second term is going to be 
that is 10 combination 1 now multiply by x to the power half then raised to the power of 9 and then multiply by the second term which is 1 raised to the power of 1 of course 1 raised to the power of anything is still 1 so I'm going to leave that away remember now why I didn't write the combination here is that 10 combination 0 anything combination 0 is always 1 so no need right and then finally the third term will be 10 combination 2 multiply by x to the power of half all raised to the power of 8 then multiply by 1 to the power of 2 remember that this will still give us 1 okay so that means our three terms are if i open this bracket 2 will cancel 10 here to give me 5 so i have x to the power of 5 my 10 combination 1 is actually 10 if you use this formula you will still get the answer and then when you open here you have x half multiplying 9 will give us 9 all over 5 and then here 10 combination 2 is actually equal to 45 if you use this formula you will also get that so we'll have 45 times x raised to the power of half times 8 will give us 4 so these three are the first three terms for example b here i will allow you to take care of the uh, example c okay so we go to number three number three says here that we should find the sixth term in the expansion of this okay so let me call that sixth term c6 and now remember what i said this is where combination is going to help us so the sixth term is going remember that the first term is always n combination zero that's the coefficient that means the sixth one is going to be n combination five and then the x is going to be n minus uh, five also remember i told you what is here is what you will have here and then your y is now going to have power five so that is what our combination is going to be so let's bring that down what is our n our n is 20 combination five multiplied by x sorry in this case our x is given as xy to the power of 20 minus 5 which is 15 then multiply by our uh, y which is the second term and that is 1 raised to the power of 5 so everything here is going to in other words give us 20 combination 5 which is equal to 15,504 you see why combination is important so uh, you know you know what it will take you to write the pascal's triangle up to the 20th you know uh, exponent so but that combination helps you to get that so by the time you do 20 combination 5 you should be able to get this and then if you open this bracket you have x to the power of 15 then y to the power of 15 now meanwhile your 1 to the power of 5 is also equal to what 1 and so this is the sixth term in the expansion of what we have here right so we look at the next example here it says we should find the coefficient of the term that will contain uh, x to the power of 4 so in other words we should expand this and look for the term that will contain x to the power of 4 and then we will use it to come into this place now meanwhile remember the formula i wrote for us that n combination r multiplied by your first term to the power of n minus r multiplied by your second term to the power of r this is always what will guide you so we are going to in other words we are looking for x to the power of 4 that means how am i going to do it such that i will get x to the power of 4 remember that your n is 10 so for me to have x to the power of 4 i will have to do 10 minus 6 so in other words i'm actually looking for n which is 10 sorry which is 10 combination my r now is going to be 6 because i want x to the power of 4 and that will be x to the power of 10 minus 6 and then y remember my y in this case is the whole of this which is 2y so i'm multiplying by 2y to the power of that 6 okay and that's going to give me 10 combination 6 is going to give us uh, let's quickly do that here 10 combination 6 is equal to 10 factorial all over 6 factorial times uh, 10 minus 6 which is 4 and this is going to give us 10 now the 6 factorial will cancel the 6 factorial so we just have a uh, 4 factorial which is 24 and of course from here um 
8 here is 1, 8 here is 3, and 3 here is 1, 3 here is 3. So if you multiply this, 10 times 3 is 30, 30 times 7 is 210. So we have 210x to the power of 4, then multiplied by, if you raise 2 to the power of 6, you'll get 64, then times y to the power of 6. Okay, so finally that is going to give us, you open up this bracket, so you are going to have 210 times 64, which is at 13,440, and that's x to the power of 4, y to the power of 6. However, they are only asking for the coefficient of this. And the coefficient, remember they didn't say the numerical coefficient. They just said coefficient. That means the everything that is multiplying x to the power of 4 there, and that is 13,440 together with y to the power of 6. But if they had said numerical coefficient, then we'll just take this other one. And so this is the solution to our example 4. So we go to example 5 here. This one says that we should find the term containing y to the power of 5 in this expansion. In this case, they ask us to find the coefficient. Here they are asking us to find the whole term. So they just need something like this, the whole of it. So if we get this, the whole of it is what they are asking us for. Right, so let's quickly go into it. So if you also use that formula I wrote there, n, c, r, then your x is going to be n minus r and your y will be your r. So that means I am looking for the power of my y to be 5. So for the power of my y to be 5, that means I'm going to substitute 5 as my r in all of this. And so that's going to give me my n is given as the highest power here, which is 15. So I'm going to have 15 combination 5. And then I will now have x to the power of 15 minus 5. And then I will now have y to the power of 5. Uh, I keep making this mistake. My y is the second component here, or the second term, which is the whole of 5y raised to the power of 5. And so we are going to look at uh, 15 combination uh, 5. If you do that, you are going to get 3003. And that is uh, multiplied by x to the power of 10. And then in this case, you have... Uh, your 5y raised to the power of 5. So we are going to raise 5 to the power of 5 and then also raise y to the power of 5. And so if we do that, let's use our calculator. So if we do that, we have 3,125. That is 5 to the power of 5. And that gives us uh, y to the power of 5. So finally, we are now going to multiply our 3003 by that so which is going to give us uh, so we are going to have here nine okay and then that is together with our x to the power of 10 multiplied by y to the power of 5 so the whole of this is the term they are asking us to find so this is why the combination approach is actually beautiful it helps you get your combinations or sorry, the coefficients faster and much more easier, all right? So this is where we'll end it for this video. In our next video, we'll begin to look at other aspects of binomial expansions. That is where we can use it to also solve other problems of um, exponents, okay? Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do like, share, comment uh, on our YouTube videos. You can make YouTube uh, video requests on any concept of mathematics and we will respond to you adequately. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye.